Hi, it's Allison. I'm trying out the webcam again. Continually trying to work on my comfort level with this and you know, giving some information in the process and hopefully um, being useful to some people um, with the information I'm providing, but also just continually building on my own kind of personal growth in the process. So I appreciate it if you are um, watching or if you're interested in these videos because it, it's definitely helping me um, helping bring me out of my shell, I should say. So today I was going to just talk a little bit about some of the things I've been experiencing with my skin. Uh, hopefully other people may relate to this and I always like the opportunity for um, community and sharing and helping each other out and for we're working on similar issues. So I get like acne and break breakouts and sometimes cystic acne which are really painful I get those breakouts around like my chin and my mouth area and from my dermatologist and then from also this really cool thing called skin mapping I've discovered that my issue is very much hormonal related hormone imbalance reproductive organ related so as far as skin mapping, if you could just Google that, it's pretty interesting. They'll have a map of your face, and from there you can see, you know, if you have breakouts in certain areas of your face or any type of strange discoloration or flaky skin or different things like that, it can actually signal an internal organ that maybe is blocked or has some sort of imbalance or has some sort of um, support it needs. So I find that really interesting and it's it's like wow your skin can really be a map to your internal organs and how your systems are working. So that's that's kind of cool. Kind of a just an indication of certain systems and their health and again what they need for support. So for me mine being um, hormonal in nature I think if I look back at my history, mine was probably um, kind of in the works for a while. I've had issues on and off for seven years, and they definitely have improved through those seven years. But mine, I got married pretty young, did the birth control, uh, had my pregnancy with my son, did went through a phase of nursing him, and then birth control again then pregnancy with my daughter, nursing her, a little bit of birth control, and then we did some permanent um, procedure to, so I was not on the birth control pill anymore, but I noticed when I got off of it is when my face started kind of freaking out, and I think my hormones just were not really sure how to regulate themselves on their own, and were working through that struggle, but it was a very, for me, having kind of the body image issues already, having skin issues as well, that was really hard for me. I felt embarrassed. I, you know, if I'm talking to somebody, I would kind of cover my cover my face and just, I didn't want people to look at it. I didn't feel comfortable. Just felt, I felt ugly, to be honest, having that issue. And so I'm slowly trying to kind of uncover how I can help my hormones get back into balance. And I've tried a lot of different things. I've done, as I said, I've gone to the dermatologist. I did the topical treatments, the, um, it's essentially an antibiotic. You know, try to keep that bacteria away from, out of your skin and keep that calmed down. I did those. They were pretty effective, but as I've been growing more in my health knowledge and getting more interested in that, I really didn't want to be on antibiotics forever. I didn't, I realized that really isn't a good idea. There are lots of issues that can happen if you overuse antibiotics and I just wasn't interested in that. So I have tried homeopathy. I've tried um, supplements of different kinds. I've tried different skincare. I'm trying really to focus on natural skincare. Another interesting thing when you think about your skin, it's such a large organ, it's your largest organ, and what you put on your skin really absorbs into your system, it gets in your bloodstream. So I like to stick with natural stuff because I really don't want chemicals absorbing into my bloodstream if I can avoid it. There's kind of a, a rule of thumb if you, 
talk to or look at or read more of the natural holistic type of of gurus and the rule of thumb is if you wouldn't eat it you probably shouldn't put it on your skin either so I'm trying to follow that it can be hard sometimes to find products that you would necessarily eat but at least the whatever the ingredients are made out of if they're non chemical based it's like okay I could eat them may not taste good but you know it wouldn't wouldn't kill me if I ate them. So I'm trying that. Um, I'm doing acupuncture right now, which seems to be really helping balance my system out. I really like acupuncture. So if you haven't tried it, it can be scary with the needles, but that, you know, if you have one that hurts, it only hurts for a second and then it's totally relaxing. I typically fall asleep during my sessions of acupuncture. So it's a nice, nice kind of time just for yourself too to relax. And since I've been trying all these things, I have seen improvement, especially with acupuncture and some of the natural skin care, but I still have my moments where my face just fully freaks out and I have to go back and retrace my steps and figure out what I did wrong. And my skin seems to be so sensitive now. It, I don't know exactly why. I'm still trying to figure that out. And I tend to get very impatient and I like to try a whole bunch of different things. I'll try them all at the same time. So I never really know what exactly is working and what isn't. So I really have to work on that. Um, and it's, my daughter actually also has some skin issues that luckily hers are really improving right now too. But she would get very aller allergy related, I think, and asthma related rashes on her arms and her legs. It was thoroughly embarrassing for her. They itched like crazy. So she'd scratch them so much they bleed and they get kind of scabby and just so horrible for her. I felt so bad. She felt so bad about herself and the way that she looked and they were embarrassing and people asked her about them and she also physically they just drove her nuts because they itched so much. But something we've been doing with her, we've been doing acupuncture with her as well. And I think that is a really key thing for her too. But another thing she and I have both been doing is, and really our whole family in general, we've been trying to do, um, we do probiotics, trying to really stick with whole foods. Um, we try to, as much as possible, uh, now that I know more about like antibacterial antibiotics. We I used to be really obsessed with hand sanitizers and hand sanitizing for my kids all the time, especially when they're little. But it I've been reading an awful lot about how the overuse of hand sanitizers can be really, really bad for you as well. So we're trying to avoid that. So trying to be much more natural in the way we eat and the way we function. Probiotics have been really, really helpful, I think. And it's all interesting because I happened to pick up a book from the library that I'm really enjoying right now. It's called Eat Dirt and it's Dr. Josh Axe and it's about leaky gut. So I'm kind of wondering as I'm reading this if my daughter and my our skin conditions that we are having issues with at different times are related to our gut and the, you know, do we have some leakiness going on in our gut? So really looking at that book and trying to see what tips and things that he can give that I can continue to add to our lives to help our skin conditions. And I think the skin is such, um, like the skin mapping, it's such an indication of what's going on inside. So it's like you have to kind of work on the inside to make the outside really function at its best as well. So it's very fun to read, lots of good information, really, really helpful. And I would highly recommend the book if you have any interest in health information like I do. I read a lot of health information because I, I just kind of geek out on it. I, I find it really interesting, the different theories that people have and what type of suggestions they have for living a healthier life. So pick up the book if you're interested, but I would also love to know if you've had any experience with different skin issues, what things you've done and what things have helped you because I, I do love being able to share, I think it's nice to have a community, community spirit where we really, if we have things that are really benefiting us that we can share and learn from each other. So please share if you have anything that's really worked for you. I'd love to hear about it and, um, you know, 
keep on keep on working on it. I know it's frustrating if you do have the skin issues, but I really do feel like if we listen to our bodies and our skin's giving us these indications and if you do use the skin mapping or any other any other methods of kind of figuring out the the cause rather than because I really do think the the physical signs are a symptom of something much deeper, but it's it's good to listen to our bodies and see if we can become detectives and figure out what's going on in there. So if you have have suggestions, I really really appreciate it. I think it's it's important. So have a wonderful day. And I hope to hear from you if you have suggestions and recommend you know picking up this Eat Dirt book if you have any interest at all. So have a great day. Talk to you later.